Now let's take a look at how we can utilize performance counters to not only see what's going on on our system, but also to allow an administrator to see what our application is doing through the system monitor. So we want to take a look first at some of the information that we can retrieve through the performance monitor. And what you'll notice is that all the basic core components of a system will have entries inside of the performance monitor. So for instance, I can find out the current amount of RAM that's currently free, or I can find out the total number of page faults at a particular time, or I can find out information about different processes and threads and so forth. Now what's also very nice is that most every server level application and some client applications will add in performance counters as well that I can utilize. So for instance, if I need to retrieve counter information about SQL Server, I have that ability. Now not only can Microsoft and other parties create applications that can add counters to the performance monitor, but I can actually go in and add in my own performance counters as well. So what we want to take a look at here is that first, that we have a performance counter, which of course will give us information about a, a particular counter, that will have a category, which will allow us to create our own custom categories. So that way if I'm creating my own server application, that I can add in a category that can be used inside of the system monitor. And then we also want to take a look at how we can create the counter through the counter creation data and how we can increment and decrement the value inside of that performance counter. Let's take a look. The first thing that I want to do is create a performance counter category which will show up as an object inside of the performance monitor. Now, you'll notice in my case, I'm just simply going to set that up as demo category. And if it does exist, I'm just going to go ahead and delete it as part of my, uh, my demo here. And it's really just to make sure that I could run this multiple times and not run into a problem. Now, in order for me to set up a uh, new counter, the first thing that I want to do is get myself a counter collection that I can put them into. And so you'll notice that I'm just simply newing up a counter collection. Let me actually just get rid of the second part there, and we'll just uh, trim that down to just simply say new counter collection. Then we're going to go in and set up our counter creation data, where we'll specify the name of the counter, We'll specify the type, and you'll notice that I can specify all sorts of different things, such as averages, such as my uh, elapsed time, number of items, whatever it is that's going to work for you to indicate the performance that you're trying to count, you should use exactly that. Then you'll notice the counter help, and this is what will show up when somebody hits the explain button. Now, as a former administrator, let me tell you that there are a ton of counters available to you inside of the performance monitor. Do your administrators a favor, give them a good explanation. So on the counter help, make sure that you provide a really good explanation. Once I set up that creation data, I'm then going to add that into my counter creation, and then I'm going to create it. So you'll notice that there's my performance counter category, dot create. I'm going to pass in the name that I want to create. I'm going to give it a real quick explanation there, just a real quick uh, friendly name, if you will. I'm then going to choose the particular item, and this is going to be a single instance, meaning that there are not multiple instances. Some counters, such as like the, um, the SQL counters for databases, could have multiple instances. In our case, it'll just be the one instance, and then we'll hand in the counter collection, which will contain that counter creation data that we set up. And then at the very end, I'm just going to have you hit a key so that way we can pause and see the counter that we've just created. The next part then is going to utilize the counter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect up to my performance counter by saying new performance category, uh, counter, indicate the category, and then the particular name that I'm going to be looking for. Now the last is if I want to provide a, um, a particular uh, instance name here, uh, or if I want it as read-only. In my case, I don't want it as read-only, so I need to specify false there so that way I can write to it. If you were maybe going to create uh, an application that would allow somebody to very easily monitor, then you'd probably want to do read-only in that situation. 
So now, you'll notice that I'm going to create a value. I'm going to start it off at 1, and then we're just going to keep incrementing it, and then keep on uh, incrementing the counter here. So you'll notice that I'm just simply going to say increment there to increment the counter, but I also want to point out that I could decrement as well, or I could also set the raw value to a specific value if I uh, wanted to. But in our case, the increment will work just fine. So we'll just change that back to increment. You'll also notice that I'm going to print out the, uh, the counter as well. Now the sleep is just to you know, give a little bit of pause to it. And then at the very end, I've got my counter.close to close that out. So with that, let's go ahead and run this. And so in the background, it is now in the middle of creating my counter. And now it's created it. I'm going to go ahead and bring up my performance monitor. And I'm going to click on Add. And what you'll notice is that if I drop this down and I scroll up, there is my little demo category that we just created. There's my counter. And if I hit Explain, you'll notice that there is my explanation. So we can see everything right there, that up at the very top, there's the category. You'll notice right here that there is the particular counter. And then finally, there is the explanation te text. And again, please, please, please put a good value inside of there. So with that, let me go ahead and simply hit Add to add that in and close. And you'll notice, let me zoom in here, you'll notice that it's sitting there all the way at the very bottom, not a whole lot going on because, well, I haven't actually told it to use the category. Let's go ahead and move this down here. We'll come back up here. I'll hit Enter. And so now what we should notice is that there goes our counter scrolling on up. So you'll notice that I do have that ability to work with the performance monitor inside of Windows. So as we've seen, I have the ability to not only read performance information that's on the system, but also to allow my application to write information out to there as well.